So I will apologize now for any noise in the background. I have Munchkin in the kitchen watching TV with me. Baby's on e-learning. My niece is back there somewhere. But I'm going to try and get through this video, hopefully with not much noise in the background. So earlier in this video, you see me put together um, a mix and it's to make bread. Now this is the first time that I attempt to make bread at home. I saw a recipe, which, a bread recipe is very simple. I mean, it's you can use any type of flour. It can be all-purpose flour, bread flour, wheat flour, any type of flour you want to use. Um, but this one in particular is a no-knead bread. Um, because I don't have a bread making machine, I'm going to use um, a Dutch oven and put it in the oven. Um, and I did a fast active yeast that I used, but you can use any yeast you have on hand. The key here is to use hot water. Usually when you make bread, it has to be cold water or room temperature water. Now the water that I put in my mix was hot water. I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. So what I did was when I mixed it, I set it aside for a minimum of at least three hours. So it now has been um, almost four hours since I mixed it this morning. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like now and then we're gonna take it out and just coat it with flour, put it inside the pot after it has heated up and we're gonna let it bake and see what comes of it. This is what it looks like now. So I set it aside this morning after mixing it. It's supposed to look exactly like this if it has those little pockets those little bubbles up at the top that's exactly what we want it to look like so we are going to take this out flour it and put it in the dutch oven you do have to warm the dutch oven prior to putting the dough in Anybody else's baby love Coco Melon? 
Okay, kitchen timer has been set to 30 minutes. So that's how long it has to be in the oven uh, at 450 degrees. After 30 minutes, we will pull it out, take the lid off, put it back into the oven and let it bake for another 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, the direction said you can put it in as long as 30 minutes if you want. It all depends on how crispy or browned you want the top of the loaf to be. I don't want it too, too brown. And like I said, since it's my first time, it's trial and error. So I'll probably just leave it in for an extra 10 to 15 minutes, depending on what it looks like once I pull it out originally. So let's wait the 30 minutes and see what it looks like. Okay, so it has been 30 minutes. We're gonna pull out the loaf and see what it looks like. Woo, it's hot. Facial. Now we gotta take the lid off. Oh, it looks pretty! Watch it. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick peek. This is what it looks like right now. So I'm gonna put it back in the oven for maybe about 15 more minutes, just so that it'll brown up top, and then we're gonna pull it out and get the finished product. Remember when you are working with a Dutch oven, to always wear gloves because the entire pot, pan, whatever it is that you're using as a Dutch oven is hot, scorching hot and you will burn, you will burn the crap out of yourself. This lid is off. I'm gonna move it to the back. 15 more minutes. Start. All right, guys, I left it in longer than I planned to. Where's my glove? Got my glove. Oops. Need to make space. Ooh. Oh, it looks beautiful. <gasps> we are gonna take it out and put it on a board so it'll cool off. Because if you leave it in the Dutch oven, it will continue cooking because this is still hot. Look at how beautiful.
All right, guys, so I just chop, just chop. I just cut into my bread. I got my test takers here in the in my kitchen in the living room. I'm gonna put some butter on it, but it's still warm. It's nice and soft, but it's got a beautiful crunch on the outside. So we're gonna go ahead and put some butter on here. And we're gonna taste this and see how it is for my first loaf. I'm so excited. And just so you guys know, since I know it came out good, I'm not gonna be selling loaves of bread to help my daughter with BGMC. If you do not know what BGMC is, I will insert a clip of what BGMC is about and the reason why we're doing it. So make sure that you post on this video, send me a message. Um, you can uh, email me. I'll pull post all that information in the description box below on how to contact me if you're interested. Um, and with that being said, let's do the taste test. So here's for my sister. Don't eat it yet. Ooh. <laughs> here's for my brother-in-law. Don't eat it yet. Here's for my niece And here is for my son. Okay, you ready? Mommy, move closer that way so, you they, can, so they can see you in the video. Cheers. All right, guys. How is it? It's really good. Ooh. We approve. Is it yummy? Mm -hmm. It has no egg in it. So guess who can have some? Guess who can have some? Here, mama. Here. Is it yummy? Taste test. Oh, you got hair in your mouth. Mommy, is it yummy? It's good. Taste yes. test. Mmm. That's my favorite bread. Yummy. Is it yummy, mama? Um, yes. Yummy. Mmm. Little more. Yummy. Mmm. Mmm. Bella approves. Well, you guys, we have reached the end of the video. I thank you again for joining me today and on this journey on my first time making bread in a Dutch oven. Again, if you are interested, I will leave all the information down below as well as the recipe that I use to make the bread in the Dutch oven. Thank you guys again. I love you and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.